Hello, it's James from the 11 Plus Tutors again. Um, today I promised to do a video for the younger students, maybe the year fours, maybe advanced, even year threes, if they're really advanced. We're looking at decimals. Now for add, whoops, for add, subtract and divide, it's best to remember that the decimal points line up and that even goes into the answer. And I covered this in my previous session also. But when we get to multiply, this is the operator where this doesn't apply. Okay, so children must remember that they line up and they don't line up when we multiply. So let's just take this example, 2.4 times six. What I will say to um, children is write the question out as it appears, underline any decimal places at any number to the right of a decimal point in the whole question. So copy it out, write it out without. So we copy it out as a normal multiplication, but we do not include the decimal point. That's really important. That's where things go wrong. We do our multiplication com column, so four times six, 24, two times six, um, 12, plus a two, 14. Then we've got one decimal place here. This is the important part. We start from the right, and we do one jump back. So the decimal point gets inserted here. So it's copy it out, write it out without, bounce it back in from the end by the number of decimal places in the whole question. Let's look at a more complicated example. We've got 12.34 times 4.2. So we copied it out first. Then we write it out without, so we exclude the decimal point, so one, two, three times 42. As you can see, I've done my units first here, I've dropped down, I've zeroed out to the tens, and I've multiplied all the tens. Then we add them up, we get to this number. Then at the end, the magic happens, we bounce it back in at the end by the number of decimal places in the whole question, so one, two, three, one, two, three. Now I get students when they're starting out this to, to, to do all of this. So I say you must do it the way I'm doing it here, even drawing the jumps in. Do not exclude any part of this journey here. So this one would be 51.828. So copy out the question, copy it out, copy it out without bounce the decimal back in, in from the, um, the right hand side at the end by the number of decimal places. If the student gets disciplined at going through these steps, there will never be a problem. I hope you found that useful and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.